bomba para bailar la bamba se necesita una boca de gran Carlos, would you hold it down? You're getting on my nerves. ¿Qué? I can't hear myself think. Ah, nadie se escucha cuando piensa. Uno piensa en silencio. Oh, you have to be so darn literal. ¿Qué? Oh, nothing. I'm just thinking out loud again. Eso no es pensar, eso es hablar. Can Carlos speak English? Well, yes, he can, but he likes to be true to his heritage. Where is he from? He's Detroit. Ah. <laughs> hey, looks like I finally got some customers. Maybe it'll be the man of your dreams. Ooh, I hope so, Charlie. <laughs> Evening, beautiful. Well, hello there. Maybe not. <laughs> is uh, your name Eats? Well, no, sir. My name is Dixie. Sign outside says Eats. Well, we serve Eats. Well, now, where is this Eats? I mean, I drive all over this country, and everywhere I go, I see a sign that says Eats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's just a little joke. I love a good joke. Can I get you something? Oh, yeah. I'll have a uh, cup of java. All righty. Pacer is my name. <clears throat> Jim Pacer out of Lubbock. <clears throat> Name's Charlie. Charlie Boyle out of Patience. Jack Dixie out of Patience. Ah, that's funny. That's funny. Now, that'll be 386 for tax, Charlie. There you go. Keep the change. Oh, thanks. See you next time through. Hey, right. Charlie, old buddy, before you go, I want to give you my card. Novelty gag items? No, thanks. Bye, Dixie. See you. He liked me. No, I could tell. People usually do. Jim, the racer pacer, they call me. That's because I come on strong and I close fast. I'm one of the fastest closers in the sales business. You think so? <sighs> I bet you'd be interested in some dirty joke napkins. Dirty joke napkins? Yeah, or maybe some plastic dog you do. Oh, I, I don't think so, Mr. Pacer. Oh, no, call me Jim. Well, you can call me... When? What? When can I call you? Oh, I was going to say you can call me Dixie, but I don't think you can call me. I believe you're just a smidgen too fast for me, Jim. Well, I probably won't be coming through here anytime soon anyway, because the home office is closing down this territory. Oh, well, that's too bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to miss it. It's all I know. Well, maybe you'll at least get to spend more time with your family. I don't have a family. I've been married to the road. And she's a tough mistress. Takes its toll. Uh, uh, especially them toll roads. <laughs> <laughs> you want some more coffee? No, no, thank you. Listen, I wasn't trying to make a date or anything. It's just that I'd like to call you sometime. Gets lonely on the road and... Well, I got to be going. Of course, I got to get 300 miles down that road in order to make my last stop at Billy Joe's Joke Shop in Glenville. And then it's back to Lubbock and I'm not quite sure what. How much do I owe you here? Oh, you don't owe me a thing. You didn't even drink that. Well, listen, I, I, I want you to have this. Uh, it, it squirts water, but, but you don't have to use it for, for that. That's kind of pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a thought that counts, right? Yes, it is. And I thank you, Mr. Jim Racer Pacer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you know, if, if, you, if you do get lonely out there on the road, you, you can call me sometime. And if I'm not too busy here, well, I'd be more than happy to chat with you for a while. That's real nice. I, I really mean it. Thanks. And thank you, too, for the carnation. <laughs> 